Sora, the text video model from OpenAI, has arrived, and it seems to be generating both excitement and concern among people. There is something striking about witnessing the pace of AI progress in a visual way that is different from numbers or charts. In the past 20 hours, the technical report for Sora has been published, and more demos and details have been revealed. I'm going to attempt to explain what Sora is, what it implies, and what to expect next. Before diving into any specifics, though, we have to acknowledge that some of the demos are simply amazing. This one, a tour of an art gallery, is stunning to me. But that doesn't mean we have to fall for OpenAI's hype, that the model comprehends what the user requests and how those things relate to the physical world. That's a claim that I doubt even the creators of Sora would endorse. I understand if you think I'm nitpicking, but these kinds of edge case failures are what have prevented self-driving from taking off for a decade. Sure, Sora has been trained at a massive scale, but I wouldn't say that it grasps the world. It has learned billions and trillions of patterns from the world, but can't yet reason about those patterns. That's why anomalies like the video you can see, and later on in the release notes, OpenAI says this. The current model has weaknesses. It may have trouble with realistically simulating the physics of a complex scene. It doesn't quite capture cause and effect. It also confuses left and right, and objects appear and disappear randomly. It's a bit like GPT-4 in that it's impressive and smart, but if you look a bit too closely, things crumble a little bit. Don't get me wrong, I am amazed by Sora just like everyone else. I just want it to be put in a bit of perspective. That being said, if and when models solve reasoning itself, I will try to be among the first to inform you. It's time for more details, and Sora can generate videos up to a full minute long, up to 1080p. It was trained on and can produce different aspect ratios and resolutions. And speaking of high resolution, this demo was among the most shocking. It is incredible. Just notice the consistent reflections. In terms of how they made it, they say model and implementation details are not included in this report. But later on, they give clues in terms of the papers they reference in the appendices. Almost all of them, amusingly enough, come from Google. We have vision transformers, adaptable aspect ratio and resolution, vision transformers also from Google DeepMind, and we saw that being used with Sora and many other papers from Facebook and Google were mentioned. By the way, my 30-second summary of how it works would be this. Just imagine yourself doing the task of predicting the next word. It's easy to picture how you test yourself. You'd hide the next word, make a guess, and check. But how would you do that for images or frames of a video? If you just mask the whole image, it would be pretty hard to predict, say, a video frame of a monkey playing chess. So how would you close that gap? Well, as you can see below, what if you added some noise, like a little bit of fog, to the image? You can still make out most of the image, but now you have to fill in some blanks here and there with, say, a text caption to guide you. That's more doable, right? And then it's just a matter of scaling up the number of images or frames of images from a video that you train on. Eventually, you could go from a very descriptive text caption to the full image from scratch, especially if the captions are as detailed as they are for Sora. Now, by the way, all you have to do is find a wealthy benefactor to invest $13 billion into you and voila, you're there. Of course, I'm joking a little bit. It builds on years of work, including but not limited to notable contributions from OpenAI. They pioneered the auto-captioning of images with highly descriptive language. Using those synthetic captions greatly improved the training process. When I mention scale, by the way, look at the difference that more compute makes. When I say compute, think of arrays of GPUs in a data center somewhere in America. When you increase the compute, you get this, and if you 16 exit, you get that. More images, more training, more compute, better results. Now, I know what you're thinking. Just 100x the compute, there's plenty of data. I did a rough estimate that there are quadrillions of frames just on YouTube, definitely easier to access if you're Google, by the way. But I will add a disclaimer. As we've seen with GPT-4, scale doesn't get you all the way to reasoning. So you'll still get weird violations of the laws of physics until you get other innovations mixed in. But then we get to something big, 
that I don't think enough people are talking about. By training on video, you're accidentally solving images. An image, after all, is just a single frame of a video. The images from Sora go up to 2K by 2K pixels, and of course, they could be scaled up further with a tool like Magnific. I tried that for this image, and honestly, there was nothing I could see that would tell me that this isn't just a photo. I'd almost ask the question of whether this means that there won't be a DALI 4 because Sora surpasses it. Take animation in an image, and this example is just incredible. Of this Shiba Inu dog wearing a beret and black turtleneck, that's the image on the left, and it being animated on the right. You can imagine the business use cases of this, where people bring to life photos of themselves, friends and family, or maybe even deceased loved ones. Or how about every page in what would be an otherwise static children's book being animated on demand? You just click and then the characters get animated. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I think Sora is going to make OpenAI billions and billions of dollars. The number of other companies and apps that it just absorbs within it is countless. I'll return to that point, but in the meantime, here are some other amazing demos. This is a movie trailer, and notice how Sora is choosing quite fast cuts all by itself. It understands that a cinematic trailer is going to be pretty lively and quick-paced. Similarly, this is a single video generated by Sora, not a compilation. And here is another one that I'm going to have to spend some time on. The implications of this feature alone are astounding. All three videos that you can see are going to end with the exact same frame. Even that final frame of the cable car crashing into that sign was generated by Sora, including the minor misspelling at the top. But just think of the implications. You could have a photo with your friends and imagine a hundred different ways that you could have got there to that final photo. Or maybe you have your own website and every user gets a unique journey to your landing page. And of course, when we scale this up, we could put the ending of a movie in and Sora 2 or Sora 3 would compute all the different types of movies that could have led to that point. You could have daily variations to your favorite movie ending. As a side note, this also allows you to create these funky loops where the starting and finishing frame are identical. I could just let this play for a few minutes until people got really puzzled, but I won't do that to you. And here is yet another feature that I was truly amazed with. The video you can see on screen was not generated by Sora. And now I'm going to switch to another video, which was also not generated by Sora. But what Sora can do is interpolate between those videos to come up with a unique creation. This time, I'm not even going to list the potential applications because, again, they are countless. What I will do, though, is give you one more example that I thought of when I saw this. Another demo that OpenAI used was mixing together this chameleon and this funky-looking bird, not sure of its name, to create this wild mixture. Now, we all know that OpenAI are not going to let you do this with human images, but an open-source version of Sora will be following close behind. So imagine putting a video of you and your partner and creating this hybrid freaky video. Or maybe you and your pet. Now the best results you're going to get from Sora are inevitably when there's not as much movement going on. The less movement, the fewer problems with things like object permanence. Mind you, even when there is quite a lot going on, the results can still be pretty incredible. Look at how Sora handles object permanence here, with the dog fully covered and then emerging looking exactly the same. Likewise, this video of a man eating a burger because he's moving in slow motion, it's much more high quality. Aside from the bokeh effect, it could almost be real. And then we get this beautiful video where you almost have to persuade me it's from Sora. Look at how the paint marks stay on the page. And then we get simulated gaming, where again, if you ignore some of the physics and the rule breaking, the visuals alone are just incredible. Imagine a world where you and your friends can enter realms created by Sora's immense capabilities. Picture designing your own elaborate video games, limited only by your imagination and the scale of Sora's power. Moreover, with the ability to prolong clips indefinitely, a wave of personalized short films seems inevitable, perhaps even narrated by AI voices. 
Now, consider integrating Sora with cutting-edge technologies like Apple Vision Pro or MetaQuest, offering unparalleled avenues for exploration, especially for those who cannot physically travel. While it's easy to imagine children immersing themselves in cartoon creation and gaming, the potential applications go far beyond mere entertainment. However, beneath the surface lies a web of profound implications. In a mysterious tweet, an OpenAI employee hinted at a deliberate strategy of restricting widespread access, expecting a catalytic public response. Yet, the nature of this expected reaction remains unclear. Amidst these thoughts, a sense of responsibility emerges, highlighted by the need to prevent unwarranted panic through careful consideration of caveats. Even as breakthroughs in language understanding and autonomous driving unfold, the resolution of edge cases remains a complex journey, likely spanning years. Nevertheless, the dawn of reasoned comprehension, enabling coherent narratives even in lengthy videos, threatens to transform various industries, potentially displacing traditional roles like videography. The landscape of AI innovation is filled with uncertainty, where every advancement brings both opportunity and danger. OpenAI's dominance looms large, casting a shadow over startups and established players alike. From challenging established players like Pika Labs and Runway ML to venturing into hardware production, OpenAI's greedy appetite for expansion knows no limits. The acquisition of global illumination and ventures into gaming and device operation illustrate this greed, signaling a massive shift in the industry's dynamics. As the boundaries between innovation and appropriation fade, the ghost of technological hegemony looms large, with OpenAI poised to determine the direction of AI development for years to come. Amidst these turbulent currents, a distant horizon calls, where humanoid transformer robots learn from simulations, heralding a future where better simulations lead to superior robotics. As the video draws to a close, amidst stunning demos and obligatory comparisons, one thing becomes clear. Sora represents a monumental human achievement, a tribute to the limitless potential of AI. Yet, amidst the wonders it creates, the human touch remains irreplaceable. A comforting reminder that, for now, creativity and ingenuity still rule in our ever-changing technological landscape.